Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about congenital erythropoietic porphyria or uh, Gunther's disease or Europorphyrinogen 3 synthase defects. So as the disease uh, name says, it occurs due to the defect in Europorphyrinogen 3 synthase. Here the child presents at birth or in utero with non-immune hydrops. Here the child presents at birth or in utero with non-immune hydrops. Here the patient has severe photosensitivity and there is porphyrins deposition or brownish color discoloration of teeth and the bone occurs in this um, congenital erythropoietic porphyria. Because of the hemolysis you can see splenomegaly is seen in these patients. And in the bone marrow, RBC and plasma, there is accumulation of porphyrins, especially uroporphyrin 1 and coproporphyrin 1 accumulate in bone marrow, RBC and plasma. Then, uh, here the coproporphyrin becomes prominent in the feces. See, because of the defect in, because of the defect in uroporphyrinogen, Yeah. Because of the defect in uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase, this pathway will not occur. So, this hydroxymethylbilane spontaneously it undergoes cyclization and forms uroporphyrinogen 1 which increases. This uroporphyrinogen 1 converts into coproporphyrinogen 1. Okay, so this has also increased. So because of increased uroporphyrinogen 1 and coproporphyrinogen 1 due to deficiency of the enzyme uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase, these both will accumulate in bone marrow, RBC and plasma. This coproporphyrinogen 1 is prominently seen in feces. It is a prominent porphyrin which you see in feces. Okay. And because it is seen in feces, you can see port wine stain urine and also pink staining of diapers is seen due to this coproporphyrin 1. Right? So this is because it is because this congenital erythropoietic porphyria is present at birth. You can do or in utero, you can do prenatal diagnosis with the help of um you know, sorry, with the help of amniotic fluid, you can take the amniotic fluid with amniocentesis and with the help of the enzyme urosynthase, you will have to find the urosynthase enzyme activity in the amniotic cells. If this enzyme activity is decreased, then obviously you can diagnose it as congenital erythropoietic porphyria or Gunther's disease or uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase defects. So for this defect, we have gene therapy is available for this uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase defect or congenital erythropoietic porphyria. Right. This is congenital erythropoietic porphyria. We have one more erythropoietic porphyria. We should not confuse between it, which is just erythropoietic porphyria. This erythropoietic porphyria, it occurs due to the deficiency of the enzyme ferrochelates because of ferrochelates deficiency there is this erythropoietic porphyria occurs this erythropoietic porphyria is the most common porphyria which is seen in children and it is the second most common porphyria seen in adults here the patient suffers from photosensitivity and this photosensitivity occurs after exposure of minimum amount of sunlight just after exposure of minimal amount of sunlight, we can see appearance of pain, swelling and redness is seen. Vascular lesions are uncommon in this erythropoietic porphyria. So for diagnosis, you will see, you will have to see increased amount of porphyrin, especially, see, I will just show you the uh, enzyme picture. Yeah, here, this Erythropoietic porphyria occurs due to the defect in ferrochelates or heme synthase and as a result this protoporphyrin 9 cannot be converted to a heme. As a result this protoporphyrin 9 levels are increased. 
in this erythropoietic porphyria diagnosis of erythropoietic porphyria is done by detecting this increased levels of protoporphyrin levels okay then you can also do this if he first increased protoporphyrin levels are seen and you will also you can also see increased feCH mutation analysis can also be done that is ferrochelates mutation analysis can be done for this erythropoietic porphyria so for treatment of this you can give oral beta carotene because this oral beta carotene will improve the sunlight tolerance and you can um, this alpha melanotide alpha melanotide is an alpha melanocyte stimulated hormones which is also tried for erythropoietic porphyria so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you